Radwa and her family of six fled Gaza City more than two months ago, leaving her husband behind after he was detained. Her situation reflects the heartbreaking reality of all Gazans. How can I begin to articulate my anguish? Should I speak of the harrowing conditions we endure daily? Or recount the destruction of my home by relentless bombings? Perhaps I should mourn the loss of my father, brother and son-in-law. The enormity of our suffering leaves me at a loss for words. Consider our reality, we resort to seawater for washing, lacking even basic garments for warmth. Many dream of spending time on a beach, but this one is now a nightmare and no longer a way, albeit briefly, to escape Israel's 17-year blockade. The plight of the displaced is profoundly severe. Here in Rafa's Mawazi, we have sought refuge under the presumption of safety and because it's close to the beach. This locale, once cherished for recreation and relaxation, now confines us against our will. The magnitude of our displacement is beyond comprehension, transcending the limits of mere words to convey its depth. The coastal strip of Al-Mawasi is one kilometer wide and 14 kilometers long, stretching from Khanyunis to Rafah. Previously home to 6,000 residents, it's now overwhelmed by hundreds of thousands of Palestinians fleeing war, enduring a cold winter devoid of life's basic necessities. Once a place for recreation, Gaza's beach has become a place where internally displaced Palestinians are trying to take shelter despite the realization that whatever they do and wherever they go, safety is never guaranteed. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Rafah, Southern Gaza.